All right, here's a little video showing how I convert files downloaded from uh, Bandcamp or wherever, uh, preparing them for import into iTunes and then synchronizing with Rekordbox. So I used a program called uh, XLD, which is a uh, converter program. You can download it for free. And when you fire it up the first time, uh, nothing happens except you see that it uh, shows you the options available up here. And the first thing I would do is go into preferences in XLD. And then in general, you can set the output format that you want. Uh, I use AIFF uh, over waves because AIFF can contain their own metadata. So when I edit the, the ID3 tags, it stays with the file. It, it doesn't live only in either Tractor or iTunes or whatever program has its own database of metadata. Uh, but if you want to, you can choose WAV. Um, or if you need to convert to MP3, you can choose that. And then under options, you can set the bit rate where this over here is the highest bit rate. But for now, I wanted to convert to AIFF. And I use the output directory as the same as the input directory. And this is when I'm working with folders within folders, converting a lot of files. Then it's easier for me to have it in the same input directory. Otherwise, if you need, need it for whatever reason, you can set it to output everything to the same directory. All right. So the way XLD works is you find an audio file and you can drop it on top of the icon and it will convert it. So if I find an album here, this is a uh, wave files, then I can drag the wave file on top of XLD and it is going to ask for permissions. That's all right. And now it converted it and it's super fast, especially when it's from wave to AIFF because it's uncompressed. Um, so that's basically how XLD works. Really nice. You can select all the files like this and you can drag it on top of the icon here, XLD, and it'll convert all the files and output it to the same directory. So I'm going to delete this. And here's a nifty little trick that you can use uh, on Mac OS with most programs and especially XLD or VLC. So if you go into your applications folder here, and you find the program XLD, you can grab it with the mouse and drag it. And if you hold command, you can put it up here on the toolbar. And I already did that, so it's up here. I can hold command and drag it away to remove it. Uh, and then I can drag it up and hold command and put it back in. The nice thing about having it up here is that whichever folder I'm in up here, I just need to select my files. I can drag them on top of XLD right here. I don't, need to, I don't even need to open the program. It'll automatically open the program, convert all the files, and now I have selected all the previous files in here. So I can just say delete in here, move to bin, boom. And I've converted all my files to AIFFs. The next thing I would do is I would open the program MP3 tag in here. And then I can drag all of these files into MP3 tag. And I can just check if there's any uh, weird stuff with the ID3 tags. And at this point, there's no tags actually. <laughs> so what I can do in here is I can convert, I can make the ID3 tags, import tags from file name like this. And then you have to do a little bit of messing around to get it right. So first of all, we have Taku, who's the artist. So I put in the artist, Taku, and then I do a space and a dash. And then we have the album, which is here. And then we space and a dash. And then we have the track number. And we have a space. And then we have the title here. So you can see it's going to say Artist Taku, Album Rework, Track 1, Title, I Love Beyonce. And this is going to be all right for most of them, except for the remixes, because there we have uh, another artist on top of the artist. But it'll get us pretty, pretty far uh, along. And if I wanted to, I could just have Taco as the artist and then Justin Timberlake shoot. Like it's, it's up to you how you want to do it. And then I could choose a genre for all of it. This is electronic like that and store all of it like that. So now these files are good to go before dragging them into iTunes 
or into music. So I'll open up my music program. Then I can make a new playlist in here. And I call this electronic. And I can import these files to my electronic playlist. Like that, change the view to songs. And now I have all my information here. One thing I usually do in between this step is I run it through um, a program called Mixed in Key, and this is going to add even more metadata. So if we drag the files, oops, let's see here. Add tracks. All right. <laughs> I try to do it this way instead. There we go. So this is going to search for cue points and um, it's going to analyze it for what key the track is actually in. And usually this goes super fast. I don't know for some reason it had to work a little bit extra. This program does need a, an internet connection. But the nice thing is here, it analyzes the tempo and the key. And because I've set it up in the personalized folder in here, it also updates the tag um, in front of the comments. And I've made sure that there is not like bought from Bandcamp comments or Beatport or whatever junk in here. So that makes sure that the uh, tags of the file now, if I go into MP3 tag and load them again in here, you can see that it has the key of the uh, of the track in here in the Camelot scale set up. Great. So we can go back into music in here. And once I play them, they should update and just like play through all of them. And now they have the updated tags in here. Cool. So going into record box, this is synchronized with my iTunes library. So I open up iTunes refresh and I will have a new playlist in here called electronic. Here it is. And you can see it has all the correct tags. It has BBM, the genre. If I would change my right ratings in iTunes, which I usually do, uh, and I also add in uh, comments, uh, depending on what energy it has and if it's a vocal or not non-vocal, going to drum and bass here. Um, you can see I'm just redoing my um, my collection, so I haven't added in all my comments yet. Um, sorry, I'm looking at the wrong place. <laughs> Let's see here. Comments. There we go, here. So it has the key energy uh, from 1 to 5, D1 to D5. And then if it's a groover, this has an 8-bit vibe. Uh, this has like a dubstep vibe, even though it's under dub. And here is dubstep comments. Same thing, this pop vocal, female, F for female, American. Um, yeah, cool. All right, so let's go back to iTunes and electronic. And I can right click here and I can say import playlist. So that's going to move it from iTunes into my record box playlists. Here it is. It's going to analyze all the files now, which is great. And then the last step here is going into the sync manager, and then I can choose my USB drive. And here I have my new electronic playlist. And if I did any changes to my other playlists here, let's say for example, if I, um, if I went into my Eulibest playlist here and I said, okay, I'm actually gonna start with this track. I'm gonna move it, um, so like this. So I'm gonna move it up to the top like this. So I'm sorting it here. Um, there we go. I deleted a track. <laughs> All right. So say I wanted to start with this. So I would make this was like my beginning of of my set. I would play these three tracks. I changed that. I'll go to sync manager and I would resync these files. So it's after the iTunes uh, playlist here in here. I can sort the play order that I want and also synchronize new playlists like this. And I will uh, synchronize this to my device. 
And this goes pretty fast because I just added these new tracks from the Taku. Um, and if I do any changes on the on the DJ decks, then I can uh, get the Q grid info back into the playlist like this, which is really nice if you do that on the fly on the on the players. All right, so that is the uh, the way I do that. Enjoy. 